photo from SBNation.com. America hates the Patriots from sea to shining sea. No franchise in NFL history, or any professional sport for that matter, is more universally despised than the New England Patriots. While it's understandable people in states with teams in the AFC East harbor resentment toward the team with the flying pelvis logo, the resounding hatred for the Patriots is virtually universal outside New England. Man, I feel bad for the Patriots getting so much hate, said no football fan living outside of New England, ever, Lindsay Darkangelo, at Darkangel21, January 18, 2019 Although the Dallas Cowboys are still considered America's team, for reasons I still don't understand, the level of venom outside Texas pales in comparison to the level of disgust most NFL fans direct toward New England. After a while, people became exhausted with Joe Montana and the San Francisco 49ers back in the day. However, the negativity was, is hardly noticeable compared to the vile feelings directed at Tom Brady and his team. It may be the only thing that doesn't divide our nation during these trying times. Photo, map from NBCSports.com, asterisk note, Tom Brady played for the University of Michigan. Who knew the Kansas City Chiefs would be the hands-down winner as the people's choice to represent the AFC in the Super Bowl? Or, that would probably be just about everyone with a blip of interest in the NFL. So, exactly why do we seem to universally hate the Patriots asterisk with a such a passion? The more obvious answers are the number of times they've been caught flagrantly bending the rules, stealing signals, deflategate whining constantly to the referees and willfully injuring opponents, for starters. But those reasons don't completely explain the level of animosity that unites NFL fans across the country against Bill Belichick and his despicable team. Actually, truth be told I'd argue that Belichick might be the only member of that franchise who is universally respected while simultaneously being loathed. While Brady does have a significant number of fanboys across the country, his arrogance toward opponents and officials, love of shamans and bombastic supermodel wife put together an image of a pampered celebrity with an insatiable sense of entitlement. Arguably the latest and most vomit-inducing example is the ridiculous campaign started by wide receiver Julian Edelman conjuring up a motivator to win another Lombardi trophy. It's not so much the us versus them mantra that people find annoying as the way they go about creating motivation. Stoking themselves up with this kind of rhetoric does nothing for growing a fan base outside the region, but something tells me Robert Kraft doesn't give five farts whether his team's fan base has one fan outside New England. There's a terrific clip on YouTube.com showing Tom Brady calling out to Bill's Mafia, F-U-B asterisk T-C-H-E-S that for some reason the NFL does not want me to link to this post. But go there and check it out if you want to giggle. Perhaps it's Brady's fake goody two-shoes voice that feels like a big asterisk F-U while smiling through his porcelain teeth like a grinning hyena that inspires us to spit at our phone or laptop screens. Even Brady hates him some. Perhaps we should take this moment, as we dine as much red and gold as we can find to celebrate the overwhelming unity brought about by our mutual distaste for the New England Patriots asterisk. Uniting about something, anything, is a start. Editors babble, go Chiefs. For me it's personal. Tom Brady stole my birthday. If I couldn't resent him more as a Bills fan, having my special day ruined by endless birthday wishes for Tom Brady sends me over the edge every year. If this isn't bad enough, you can find me swearing at Tom Brady on Twitter at Rob Amundi if you're so inclined.